Hello guys, this is Maduba John from MJC Designs. I'll be showing you my settings in 3DX Max, my rendering settings. I'm going to show you what I use for my text rendering and what I use for my final rendering. So now let's get started. So basically what I do is I go to my setup, my rendering setup. This, this right here, I try to, depends on what you want, on how fast you want it. I'm going to show you the, what I use for my test rendering. And then later on, I show you what I use for my final rendering. So, and normally, I normally reduce this. I normally reduce this, the output size. I just click this or this, whichever I want. I click this and I change the the aspect ratio. The aspect ratio depends on how you want the your image, how you want the, the weight and the height of your image. Sometimes I use this, depends on what I want to render. 0 0.8 okay so it depends on the view I want to render like this view has this right here so I'm okay with this I go to the V-Ray go to the V-Ray go to global settings try to see what I check not in there I use I use bucket type. The image sample I use bucket type. And then in my image use I use Mitchell Natural Valley. I use this Mitchell Natural Valley. Mind you this is very 3.6 so the the layout might there are some things that are added in V3.6 that that might not be in V3.0, V3.2, or V3.4. I'm not so sure, but you might you might see something different, like the bucket might not be there. And you come to the bucket image sampler. Sometimes I love to increase this. Uh, I, uh, yeah, this is one rather for the test rendering. Sorry, this is one. I make it to one for the test rendering. I make this to four. And I make this to zero zero point zero zero one. Yeah, it makes it it renders fast, but the noise would be too much. The noise on your image would be too much. But this is just the the idea of test rendering is just to to know to see some how your lighting on your scene. If your lighting is okay or not, if you're satisfied with the lighting, if you're satisfied with your texture, reflection, and glossiness, and all that. So this is this is what you do instead of using your final rendering to do a test rendering, so it wastes your time. Then the, the global illumination, I try I make sure you enable the GI, okay. Make sure the primary engine is in Iridian's map and the other one, secondary engine is light catch. Okay, now that's fine. And um, make sure the reflective is ticked and this, the reflective is ticked rather, and this is unchecked. And this one, the ambient occlusion must be, take, must be checked. So I normally reduce the radius to 1 and reduce this to 8 or 4. I'm going to leave it to 8. This is the subdivision. This is the ambient, the ambient occlusion radius. These are the, the essence of this is the lines, the dark lines at the edge of your building. So it's you, the, the bigger it is, the bigger dark, the dark shades. The smaller, the, the smaller it is, the smaller the dark shade. When you have one here, you have a very clean rendering, but not realistic. But when you have something like 20, 50, 100, you have darker, you have a bigger radius of the shades at the edge. The shades at the edge. And then I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. 
as you can see the dark shades at the edge right there is what i'm talking about so the bigger the radius the, the bigger the bigger that the dark shades are so the smaller it is you know what i mean so when you have those shades there it makes your rendering more realistic now this is one of the rendering this is the rendering my final rendering i did for that project you can see how it looks looks nice so when you increase this you have the shade and when you reduce it you don't have it but most times i reduce it for the text rendering okay for the text rendering and i reduce this also then in the irradiance map we have the low i make i try to make sure to put it when i'm doing the the test trending i put it to very low so i, I make i make sure it's very low when you're doing your final reading you can, you can you can put it you can make it to you can put it to medium or low all depends on how your time okay so that's for that light cache this you can always have your your subdivision as 250 or 300 for, for test rendering and you can have uh, the, for the final rendering you can have it as 1000 or 12 for the final rendering i'm going to just leave it at 1000 that was the final rendering so that's that's for that and we'll go to the settings For that this right here i just discovered the the essence of it i i try to make sure the when rendering it uses all my ram so i just make sure i just put it to zero just put it to zero so that it will be a little bit faster and these are the render elements and these are the render elements you use to enhance your image so in case you want to you, you want you are interested in using the render elements you just come here you want to add any render element you feel like you just press the add and select any one you want press ok so that's for that and let's go back to the final rendering when you want to do your final rendering make sure you change your size to so a bigger size depends on you okay make sure you change your size to a bigger size it depends on you change it to maybe one five um to one thousand five hundred one thousand nine hundred one thousand nine twenty since you have one thousand nine twenty and change your aspect to your aspect to show you're going to calculate the the height you want if you uh, you're going to be using one 1.33 as your aspect ratio is going to give you the height if you're going to use if you're going to be using 1.5 it's going to give you the height if you're going to be using 0 0.8 it's going to give you the height so it depends on what view you want you want to get okay that's for your final rendering. it has to be at around this range that is if your system is very very good but if your system is not that good please leave it at one two system is not that good just please leave it at one to then you change your aspect ratio or you might also leave it at 1000 for the very come here the settings remain the same these settings remain the same most times what we change is the figures so for the view for for the bucket bucket image sampler you come over here you change this you might want to change this to four for the final rendering that if your system is very good or your system is not that good you can just keep it as one for this for the minimum subdivision but if your system is then just come to the maximum subdivision you can always change it to 15 20 25 what you want but if your system is not that good and you also want to have a good image you can just leave it at 12 uh, for the noise threshold this noise threshold what it works for it kills the noise on your image it kills what the noise those little little 
dots you see on your image that makes it that is that makes it look quite rough this is what changes it if you want a very fine image you can always put this, this figure to 0 0.005 now that's fine but you, if you if you if your system is not that strong please just leave it at 8 okay so that's just one of those disadvantages of having a, a not so good system for for rendering so you're just going to try to reduce your settings a bit try to compromise your quality quality of the image so for standard just have it 0 0.005 This remain the same, this remain the same. For the GI remains the same. Then we are going to change this. The ambient, the radius. We can always I know, I normally put my radius to maybe 20, 30, 50 within that range. It all depends on what I want. Okay. I don't want too much um dark shade at the edge there I'll just reduce it maybe put it at 20 so I change the subdivision to something around 32 16 24 thereabout so that's the essence of that is to make that dark shade smooth to be very very smooth so it doesn't you don't have noise there so that's the essence of it and I try to make sure my my radiance map is a medium or if you don't have a very good system you can just keep it as low so that for that this right here this is one one thousand already for the light card subdivision so we can always leave it at this if you want to and change it to one thousand two hundred or one thousand five hundred so that's it all depends on how fine you want your image to be remember remember the higher the numbers the higher the time the render time increases the higher the numbers your render time increases so if you're going to be doing a job a very fast job and you want to deliver on time please don't increase the numbers too much you're going to stay for hours while it renders so that for that and um, finally if you're using dome light please make sure you check the settings the subdivision your dome light okay make sure you change the for those that doesn't have this 3d max that doesn't have list I'm going to show you where you change it you just click your dome light. I, I checked my dome light, but I'm going to show you how I checked my dome light. It was checked already, so just go to where your dome light is, pick it, come to modify, and then you change the subdivision. I use 24, sometimes I use 32. So this gives you final image. A smoother image images that are very very smooth without with very very less noise this gives you this number when you when you increase it it gives you a final image. but but at the expense of your render time your render time increases so but if you don't want your render time to increase please just leave it at eight those numbers you have to change please just leave it don't increase it too much so you do your, your system don't hang for this now that's that let's go back to our setup render setup so i'm going to show you how to save these settings by the time you are done with setting everything and you want to save it because you don't want to go back doing them all over again when you do your when you do your test rendering when, when you do your test rendering settings you just come to preset here down here just drag your stuff down here preset click you see save then you place you will press save pop out to give it a name and probably these are these are my and then you you you, you give it a name you can say 
test rendering okay test trending and all that so just like this test trending put it in a folder where you can easily go there and you know get it in case you want to use it so you just press save and same thing if you want to load it just press this here go down you see load click load and then you press that and say open it will load your settings straight up the same thing when you do your final rendering you can save it okay and if you want to if you're done with your whatever you're doing with your texturing and test rendering then you can always go back and load your final rendering process okay and then you press okay you press up thanks guys and then um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel promise you more awesome content thanks for watching don't forget to share to your friends don't forget to click the like button and leave a comment below for any question you want to ask me whatever you want me to do please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section i remember mad about john from mgs designs i love you guys thanks